Hey, what's going on, guys? It is me, Breaker, and today we're going to go do something new today because we do have to go out and buy something new. We got to borrow a couple of some money, so I'm going to call the bank quickly and borrow some money because we have to actually lend a uh, excavator, which I'll show you what we're going to be lending. We are going to be leasing uh, our bulldozer, the one I forgot. I guess we don't have any more. It was a very nice uh, excavator, but I guess we don't have any more, but um, anyway. But today, actually, first thing we're going to do, actually, is probably tear down the shop because this shop ain't reliable anymore. It really ain't at all. If you see, you can see all the wood. It's just starting to fall off. It's starting to deteriorate. So what I'm hopefully going to do today is maybe possibly get another skid steer out here possibly. Or even, a, what we're probably going to do actually is get that skid Actually, I don't think this has a, um, a hook on the back. Hitch, a ball hitch or anything like that. I will check quickly if it does. Which it looks like it does. That's some snap hitch. So we'll probably use that. But um, what we need to do is we need to get something that we can pull that we can bring home with this bad boy or even this even I don't care but and we are gonna actually take out this old shop today and actually you know pull it out so we need to go get my truck which my truck is at recon so I'm gonna real quickly get there and I'll be right back in a minute I right, guess so I'm here and we got my truck my buddy so for Christmas actually uh, you'll see on recon's channel not my channel because I just like the video in general on my side so he bought me some parts for my truck, which we want to. I want to put on in this new shop. Um, he got these cool steps on them. Uh, they're like steps that will actually come down by themselves. Uh, he got some new tires for me because I got these Keen Ranch tires, and I never knew about them until now. So that's pretty nice of him. Uh, Recon's a really nice guy. If you guys really meet him, you know he's a pretty cool guy. So let's uh, pull out the truck, and we are gonna bring this home because we gotta pull a couple things out of the shit out of the garage. So yeah. Because we have a gooseneck I got to pull out. Yeah, I think soon we're going to try doing an auction. Which an auction would be awesome. Because I do, really do want to do an auction for some, some, you know, stuff, you know. So we can, so you know, I could buy some uh, new stuff. I could buy like a, uh, I could buy just new tractors, you know. And get better, bigger equipment. Or even smaller equipment, even if I have to. But, yeah, we're going to take a turn here. Alright, we're going to be just about here. We're going to take the turn inside. And, yeah. There we go. We're gonna first things first pull that PJ out because we do not need that PJ at the moment. I put the oh, I didn't put it down. I think I put it down now. Yep. Because it's automatic, thing. it's really cool. I like that. I like how it automatically lets it uh, lets it down. So no straps back there. At least I was backing it up to, a little slowly, not just full on ramming it out. So we will put a strap here, just strap here. These are just gonna be out for a few days while we get our garage put on which we will probably probably till like summer so yeah all right let's pull this around and we'll call it at that and all we got is all our tractors now that we, that we just got to put inside there so what's gonna happen is all that sheet and all this is gonna be you know put uh aside i'm gonna say yeah let's uh open this bad boy up and we got our organized very organized uh thing our very organized thing our very organized barn for the last time we're gonna see it so I'm sad that's gonna go, but again, I'm happy because we do need to get some safer. You know, I don't want my friends in here or even family, which I don't have any family out in California. I remember I was from originally from Iowa, so but like I was saying, I don't want any family or friends out here that are sitting out there in the barn and just a piece of lumber or metal just falls down on their head and cracks their head open. So this will go on to the planter for now because this planter actually has to get seeded up, but yeah, we will pull around. This is where all the stuff's gonna go for now, cause we are pushing her, where we are letting her all go down. So that needs to be actually we probably can use that for that. So that'd be nice. Now uh, we will put the we will take out the 4440 and this and the Kate and the case the cat. And I'm gonna call somebody. I'm gonna see what to get me one. So this will that will be used. That will definitely be used. I know that. Oh, I pushed the seed thing off. Hold on, man. I'm just going to drag it because I think you can drag it, really. No, nope, can we? No. Nope. Huh. Stupid. Okay. Anyway. Yeah, we're just going to just drive over it, I guess. Or just ram it out. Uh, yeah. I'll just push it out for now, I guess. I don't know how it's fake doing that, but... Whatever. And now we will... We'll pull this around where the 7600 to that. God, this thing is really tippy. Sheesh. I don't know how to stop it, but I'm just going to put my focus down. There we go. There we go. We'll just lift them up a little bit. There we go. There we go. Pull it back. There we go. Right. Perfect. 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 And we'll just stop here. We're, we're going to go put her in the trailer, actually. We're just going to put her just somewhere random. I'm not going to put her where it should be. Oh, well, I should put her where it's supposed to be, but it's going to put her here for now because 
you know. Okay, I hate how. Okay, I hate the physics of these of these little um ex excavator skid steers because they just suck. They they literally suck, and I'm mad because every time I try, you know, just moving it slightly, you know, just moving it slightly, I'll just tip all the way back and I'll fall back. In real life, you'd probably fall in that engine enough, probably, you know, damage the engine mad enough, it'll probably explode or something like that. I don't know. I don't know. Let's get the last but not least, the beast herself. That was pretty easy. She, you know, she's pretty big. Oh, well, she's pretty big, but she, she ain't huge, you know. She ain't what I'm planning on in the future of this farm, so. We're gonna be mad if we have to, hopefully we don't have to move anytime soon, because this farm will be a nice farm by the time we Start tearing this. This will be the first mark of it. Now I need to call somebody to see what we can get put onto this onto this farm with this trailer. And I'm hoping we'll get it done pretty easily because I got I do know what we're gonna get. So yeah, I'll be right back in a minute. So yeah, I'll be right back. Okay, guys, so I'll just talk to them. I got off the phone with them and uh, with the distributor. Sorry with them, but uh, I leased. I have to go over and sign papers for a brand new New Holland uh, W190D, I believe, or W90D. I don't know what the model number is. Don't no scream at me in the comment section if I don't know. And I got a bucket, a maxi bucket. So, yeah, let's get in the truck, start it up. Let's let the brakes, you know, let the brake pressure uh, air up. Meanwhile, let's check the track trailer and all that. Kick the tires and make sure, yep, that's good. These are good. Yep. These are good. Over here, these two are good. Yep. Yep. We'll go kick these two tires around. Yep. Yep. Pick this one. This is a little bit flat. I don't know. I don't know if that will be road safety, but we might have to just go pull around quickly, air it up. I got Doug on air compressor, so we're good. Uh, yep, this one's good. This one is good. And these one are good. These two are good. Or these four, should say. Let me check the gas. Look at the gas. That gas don't look bad or feel sorry. Alright. Let's just pull it out. Meantime. There we go. There we go. Now, yeah, we'll have to pull around and we're going to. We're not have to use the air pressure one last time in here. It's just a little movable one, so I'll be right back in a minute. Alright, there we go. We're good. We got her. She's good. Alright. Put that away. I don't know why we're putting it in there and we're gonna be destroying the building tonight, but let's get going. Let's get boogieing out of here. We'll boogie out of here and all that, so. Oh, we have to get the pieces from that are near the building and behind the building so forgot about that too so yeah let's stick to churn this is gonna be a pretty fun load today i love this trailer i love the look of this trailer just it doesn't have any ramps on it so like when i was loading up my i was loading up my uh puma and my kinsey on here that sucked because i literally had to climb with that i literally had to put the air brakes on and it sucked it was really bad so yeah i'm gonna uh be back in a little bit so yeah, I'll be back when we get there. All right, we're almost here. As you can see out there, there it is. All right, going through the puddle. We're gonna turn around and we are gonna. There we go. Shut off the truck. We'll put the parking brake on. Put the parking brake on. Put the trailer brake on. We are good. And we are gonna try climb this. Well, yeah, first of course to learn how to drive this thing because. Okay, did I get it right? D W D one ninety D. How was I? I was like, is it W90D or is it D W ninety D or whatever one ninety? I don't know. I don't care. So all right, let's figure this out. So we pull this up to move move that. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Move back this way. Okay. I see how we uh, roll this so far. I do see. I see. All right. And then we will go back here if we want to put our home. I believe it's this one. Yep. Yeah, we're good. If you want to put some highlights on, which we're not going to be doing this for long, you know. We're just going to scrap her down, cut her up. It'll take like a two-hour thing. They're all built out of uh, just one plank on each, you know. Just, you know, so. Just lower her down. We got to kind of lower her down kind of low. I mean, low, bud. Low. We're going to have to, I don't know how to do this because I've never, I never personally done this. I think it's, uh, she sees bottom two. I think we're good. Let me just, just see if I okay. I think I'm I'm hitting the bucket. I know. All right, so that was the wrong one apparently. So they took that back. Thank God. I was like, huh? Shouldn't this be going on by now? But it wasn't going on because you know that. So now we're talking business here. All right. So let me just go check the setup of this real quickly. Oh, uh, uh, uh. let's go check the setup of this bad boy real quickly. Let me just go check the setup of this thing. Okay. So what we're gonna do is gonna ride up and then it looks like these little bars go to here i'm assuming uh, i really don't know oh i'm seeing okay i'm starting to, i think i'm starting to see it so okay uh, let's put her down lift her up let's see so okay nope i was completely wrong okay no nope. those hooks gone there then 
They all light. Okay, cool. We just gotta lock those. We got a little lock right here. Lock there. Lock there. There we go. Now we are gonna ride this bad boy up onto the trailer, which will probably take some time, of course. You know, knowing me, so I gotta learn. You know, I gotta learn about this trailer stuff. So this trailer's gonna be used out by next week. So, I mean, yeah, this is a pretty cool load. I'm being honest. I'd be honest with you. I'm being unrealistic with it, but I let it. So I have that thing literally inside of it. I uh, shut her off. Let's get my straps from the. I think it's a tool, but not on a toolbox. Check in here. Should be under the seat. Oh, it's under back there. Grab those. Then we'll strap right here. Strap right here. Then we'll strap right here and strap right here. There we go. Strap the body. So we know for sure that ain't falling off. Because you know what happens when I, when it falls off, I have to pay a lot more money than I should have. All right, let's uh, pull her up. Let's get her. Uh, let's pull her home so then we can get this all done. So yeah. All right. Let's do this. All right, guys, we're here. I'm gonna take your trim and There we go. All right, let's, um... Oh, the only thing I hate about this, we need to take the straps off, by the way. Take the straps off. Three, four. It always... What it does is it slides, so it looks really unrealistic that I'm, how I'm loaded up, so... Yeah, it looks stupid. All right. I wonder if it says RP. Oh, it does work, actually. Okay. Right, let's pull it back down. All right. All right, let's go pull this way. And this way. There we go. And now we will get the... What's it called? We need to get some kind of tract around that. We'll just pull the, uh, cut this out. Sure. All right. Now let's, uh, mm, 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 mm. close. Now we will, we will, uh, let's go over here. Back this puppy up. There we go right about here. Let's go back here. Put the legs up. Put the PTO shaft in. Let's put those in. We're just going to pull her out. All right. Let's go back here. If I can get out here, take out the PTO shaft, take out the hoses. And now we will go back. This the legs, by the way, sorry. I, I meant to do that. Um, We will go back to the back. And we're going to get this, uh, what's it called? This 2720 combination ripper out. Go back here, put the leg up, and put it the other way. Put the hoses in. There we go. This is going to do a bad job with the uh, farming at all, but all right, let's uh, pull this around. Hopefully we'll just uh we'll just put it behind the Kinsey grand car. There we go. To break some of that. And we will let's go out to grab some tools, cause I got a big old toolbox in my garage. What we're gonna do, first things first, pretty obvious. This is really easy to lift off. It's just on hinges really. Just on a hinge really. Slides on and off. This this uh what's it called? All this stuff will be pretty easy to take out. I can just bane on that this wood and it'll just all come out in one, so. Yeah, they didn't really work hard on this, I'll be honest with you. Sorry to say it, but yeah. You're gonna take this out, and I'll be back when it's. I'll be back next time, so. Yeah, guys. Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys later, and you guys will see a picture of it after the, the aftermath. So, yeah. I'll see you guys later, and peace out.